Let's have a look at bootstrap buttons and how we can customize them and also how we can add new color options to bootstraps buttons. Before we get started, I've set up a parcel HTML bootstrap boilerplate. I've put a link in the description below. And there's also a link on screen now to the video where I set this boilerplate up. So if you wanna follow along in this video, click on the link, get the boilerplate set up. It's the same boilerplate that I'm using in all of my how-to videos. So everything that I'm gonna do in this video, you need to have access to Bootstrap SAS to be able to follow along. Okay, let's start off by looking at what we get out of the box. So these colors over here are based on the Bootstrap SAS map called Theme Colors. So you can click on, and I'm inside of getbootstrap.com forward slash docs. You can click on Customize, Color, and there's your SAS map theme colors. So if you wanna add a new button color, rather than create your, say, your custom CSS, all you have to do is add in an additional entry to this theme colors. So let's open up Bootstrap's variable file. So I've expanded node modules, then Bootstrap, then SCSS, and then underscore variables dot SCSS. Now I'm not gonna add a new color to Bootstrap, but there are additional colors that Bootstrap's SAS map doesn't use. So let's say we wanted to add orange as a color. So I'll copy this value over here. Then I'm gonna go back to our source code. So that's SRC and I'll expand assets and SCSS. And the main entry point for this boilerplate is inside of main.scss. Inside of here, we have a couple of extra folders. One of them is an abstracts folder that contains a partial called underscore variables.scss. This is where we can make amends to bootstraps variables. So I'm gonna paste in orange. I'll save that file. Next, for us to make map amends, we have to run our map amend after bootstraps variables have imported. Now that's all covered by the boilerplate I've got set up. So first we import our own variables, then we import bootstraps variables, and that then allows us to do the map amends. So I'm gonna open up abstracts underscore map dash amends, and I've got some dummy code in place already. I'll uncomment it. And the way a SAS map amends works is you set up your own custom SAS map, then you target the SAS map you're looking to amend. Now in our case, that's theme dash colors because that's what Bootstrap uses for its color system. And then you run the SAS map merge functionality where you pass in the map that you're looking to amend and then you pass in your new values in the form of your new map. And these two then get combined. So right now this says custom colors. Let's change this to say orange and we'll change the value to reference our SAS variable orange. Now this is only gonna work because inside of our main.scss, for a start, we're using the at import. If we were using at use, then we'd have to import our variables into our map amends too. So once we've imported our variables file, everything inside of there is available globally to any files that come after that. So that means our map amends, which comes after variables, has access to that orange value right there. So now when this is run, we'll have a new button called btn dash and whatever the name is there. So btn dash orange. I'm gonna open up index right next to primary or as my first button. I'll just copy that. I'll change this to say orange and I'll change that btn to say orange as well. Now save all our changes and if this works correctly on the front end, we'll have a brand new button. And there's our orange button and that's how easy it is. Now, what about if we wanna change the styling of these buttons? We'll jump back into the docs, we'll go to components and then buttons. And this is the same for any component inside of Bootstrap. Go to that particular page and look on the right hand side here, there's a SAS section. So once more, you have to have the right setup. You need a build process and you need to be able to recompile your SAS. And here we have a range of options. For this example, let's just say we wanna change the padding Y. Now, Y means both top and bottom, X, means left and right. So we'll bump that up to something silly. We'll go into our variables file inside of assets, SCSS, abstracts, underscore variables. So where we just place that orange value. And let's paste in btn dash padding dash y and we'll make it 10 rem and our buttons will blow up on the front end now. There you go. And that's it, you can follow that same principle for whatever values are here. And if you're looking to amend a property that you don't see in the form of a SAS variable, then you simply write your own CSS. 